Hi everyone! I tried a bunch of egg dyeing experiments, and in this video I'll be showing you 8 fun ways to dye Easter eggs. For the first one, you'll just need a white crayon. You can draw a design all over the egg, or you could choose to write someone's name or an initial. I chose to do kind of a swirl pattern all over the egg. And I can faintly see this while I'm working, although it doesn't really show up on camera, it is there. And then just put the egg in some dye. After it's been in there a few minutes, your design magically appears on the egg. And then I like to just dry them off after. And that's it for the white crayon design. The next trick is to use stickers to create a design on the egg. I found these stickers in the office supply section of Walmart, and it's best to use stickers that are pretty small because of the rounded surface of the egg. And I'm just placing these on the egg in a pattern. So I just did this all around the egg. Make sure they're all stuck on the egg pretty well. And then just put the egg into the dye. Then take the egg out. You're going to want to dry it off. And then just start peeling those stickers off. And you may need to wash the egg a little bit to get the sticky residue off. But you end up with a polka dotted egg. And that's it for trick number two. For the third idea, you'll need some tin foil. Get a big enough piece that you can wrap all the way around the egg with some left over. Start crinkling it up and then place it around the egg and you want it to have lots of crinkles in it, you don't want it to be a smooth surface. And then if you need more, you can always add another piece, but be sure that the egg is completely covered in tin foil. Then put it in some dye. After it's in there a few minutes, you can take it out. There's no gravity that sucked me in your orbit. There's no magnet that was Dry it off. The and then take the tin foil off. And you can see that it left a cool kind of watercolor effect with the dye. So that's it for idea number three. If you're looking for an easy and subtle effect, this next one would be a good one to try. First, I folded up a piece of paper towel and then I put the egg in some blue dye just until it started to look blue. Once I was happy with the color, I took it out and then I put it into some purple dye and kind of swirled it around. Then I took it out and put part of it into the blue dye. I took it out and used the paper towel to kind of dab at the surface of the egg and it left this multicolored kind of speckled texture. And that's it for idea four. For trick number five, I'm using some painter's tape. So I just unrolled a long piece and I used scissors to give it a scalloped edge on both sides. Then I took it and I wrapped it around the middle of the egg, all the way around. I made sure that all the edges were sticking well, and then I cut two more strips of tape, and I put one around the top of the egg and one around the bottom, just trying to curve it around the top as I work. So it looked like this, and I repeated that on the bottom. So the egg ended up looking like this. You could just put the whole egg into some dye and use one color, 
but I decided to use multiple colors and create kind of an ombre effect. So I put half the egg in blue and purple, and then the other half the egg in pink and some purple. Dry it off and then take the tape off. And that's it for idea number five. For idea six, you'll need to take this tool that comes with the egg die and bend it like this. So you'll be able to keep the egg pretty level. So the first step is just to put the egg in some purple dye. And I'm not going to leave it there very long. I just want it to start getting a purple color. Then I dried it off. And I used the tool to put it into the water about three quarters of the way up on the egg. And I didn't hold it in one place. I kept moving it around so I wouldn't get a harsh line. But just keep looking at the egg and see how the color is looking. And gradually move it farther and farther out of the water. And leave the very end in the longest. If all goes well, you should end up with an ombre egg. And just go ahead and dry that off, and it looked like this. For idea 7, we're using rubber bands. So just take a couple rubber bands, and you can use different widths of them to get different looks, and just wrap them around the egg as many times as you'd like. So it looked like this. And then I just took the egg and put it into some pink dye, left it there for a little while, and then took the rubber bands off. And it ended up looking like this. And remember, you can always use multiple colors of dye to get a different look if you'd like. For this last idea, you'll need to mix some flour and water until it's about this consistency or maybe a little bit thinner. And then I just took this fine tip bottle that I got at Walmart in the cooking area and I filled it with the flour mixture, which is a little difficult, but just keep working with it and you'll get it. This idea was inspired by some flour paste resist fabric dyeing that I've done before and it turns out it works on eggs too. So you're just going to take the bottle of the flour paste and just draw some random design on the egg. I just kind of did these swirls. And you can't get super precise with this, so it's better to draw kind of an abstract pattern. And you're not going to want to set this down until it's dried a little bit. So just kind of shake the egg around and let it dry after you're done drawing the pattern. And then once it starts to dry a bit, you can go ahead and put it in the dye. I left it there for a little while and then I took it out. The paper towel takes some of the flour off, but you'll need to wash it off before you're completely done. But as you can see, the flour paste resisted the dye and it looked like this. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this egg dyeing idea video. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from my channel, you can click any of the items on screen. And I hope you have a great day. You love me like a fool, but now I can't let go of your skin. You know that I never knew.